Hi, friends! Welcome back to Alice Play World. Bring you some more Heroes of the Storm. I'm back. My throat's feeling a lot better. So we're gonna play Johanna one more time. Last time we were doing first impressions, I never played the character. I never looked at the talents. I had a chance to play a couple games of her. I feel pretty comfortable. Let's have some fun. The crusade calls. Welcome to the Garden of Terror. Enemy team Sylvanas, Brightwing, Diablo, ETC, and False. And friendly team Rhaegar, Diablo, Vala, Nova, and Johanna. All right. I'm gonna head to the top lane and those Diablo heads there. There we go. Uh, last time, I don't know if you saw the, the last video, but the, in the first impression videos, I never seen the character, never played her, and I just sort of picked out talents on the run. But turns out I got a really good build. It's my favorite build on her. So we're going to do something very similar. It looks like Nova's saying, hey, babies, we're going to go ahead and say hi. Um, the first time we're going to pick up reinforce, basically, our basic abilities give us charges of block up to two stacks. Really good. Our uh, uh, abilities, really quickly, our D trait ability is called Iron Skin, I believe. Yes, yes. It gives us a shield for four seconds and we become unstoppable, which means we can't be pulled back, we can't be slowed down. Really good for getting out of sticky situations and uh, getting into sticky situations because I can, for example, run right through Malfurion's roots, which is amazing. I might get nerfed in the future, but I, for now we're going to enjoy it because I love it. Go ahead and face shake the bush. Our E ability Shield Gear is a cone ability that does a little bit of damage and uh, and also makes people miss their basic attack. Let's go ahead and try to go in here on Fawcett. It's going to slow him down so he can take a lot of damage. And Valor going to be able to poke him there. Almost picks up the kill really close. Our uh, Q ability is called Punish. It does damage in a cone in front of us. It also slows down the enemy. And our W ability basically pulls everything towards us after a slow delay and then stuns them briefly, I believe, for 0.25 seconds. They have very little... But it, uh, it's, it's mostly for pulling people back, really, is what you want. That stun is mostly for cosmetic effect, basically, like the effect of, uh, of you being slowed down by losing your movement is what it looks like. So we're going to pop our Diaz. We're going to engage here. We're going to take a couple licks from the tower. Not a big deal. we got to run away from false that Oh, we get polymorph. This is bad news. This is bad news. We're going to go ahead and try to make him miss his attacks and go all the way back to the healing well. That was a really sticky situation. If he had focus on me, he could have killed me. But he decided to go and volley because she's not the tank. And that, was, that actually saved my life. Just, uh... A little bit of lack of judgment. Let's look at what False is building really quickly. This is important. Uh, there he is. Okay, so he went for power throw. Not the greatest news because it doesn't. It means he's probably not going to be building for um, auto attacks, which is what we would be able to basically deal with really easily. His lightning rod does a lot of damage, and we got to watch out for that. We're not very tanky when it comes to um, to lightning rod. There, we're going to try to engage you. Try to get some seats. It looks like the enemy team going up here. Rhaegar on that side. Keep an eye on him. He gets in a lot of trouble. Walks into the entire enemy team. I need to make my way over there immediately to try to help out. It looks like they're going to die. I'm going to try to blind these guys, but I'm also very weak. It looks like Fulton's going to jump on me. Does a couple licks there. It does miss the next one. Let's go ahead and engage now. Slow him down. He's in a lot of trouble. So he gets walks into the rest of our friendly team, and we do pick up the kill there. And now we should probably try to go for the seeds. On the top lane as the enemy team is now finally going there. We do see that Bright Wind's over here. I'm going to go ahead and jump on him. Uh, pulling him back a little bit. Trying to body block. Good job of Nova. They're doing a lot of damage. So I shield clear him and we do pick up the double kill there. And now we got to protect the Apple. He's very weak. He comes Rhaegar from behind. We're in a really bad spot. We should back out of here. This is now we want to be sandwiched in between the enemy. Looks like ETC coming in here for a little bit of fighting. Uh... I would love to tank this. I'm just gonna not do that. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and say let's go that way. Let's just let's just pick up some seeds. Let's not engage this fight. Looks like Diablo is saying, you know what? No, I'm gonna engage the fight. And he jumps in here, and I'm trying to basically face tank this, but a bad time as we are gonna be able to retreat here. Um, yeah, I'm gonna head up the healing well and head to the bottom. Try to get some seeds. That's what I think the best idea it is. I'm gonna go ahead and ask for assistance. Maybe my friendly team will help me out. Nova's still checking out what's going on there, but we need to try to get some seeds. We're severely behind. Uh, the enemy team with the 51s. I mean, so they're gonna definitely get a terror out of this because we were able to get all the little camps. Uh, at level four, we're gonna be picking up loss of hope, increased health region, and activate subversial. The other thing that I would pick here, I would suggest picking is uh, roar, increasing punish damage, and that basically just depends on how comfortable you feel with your burst capacity on your team. Uh, I feel like we have very tanky target, very uh, damaging targets, so we're gonna try to get in here and slowly DC, basically zone him out so we can get uh, the most seats here. Uh, without them actually interrupting. We're going to jump on false and immediately pop in lots of hope as well as our trade iron skin to make sure we're very tanky. And now we need to re-engage here. It looks like uh, Diablo a little bit of position. We're going to try to engage there. Going down our Diablo in a really bad spot. We're going to make our way out of here. Uh, but we cannot help. We don't have any mana. It looks like we're going to be able to shield glare these guys to try and make sure that Vala gets away. And now I'm going to be forced all the way back to the base along with her to get a little bit of health and mana. It looks like um, we're definitely on the back foot here. The enemy team already getting those seeds. We're slightly behind in experience, so I'm going to try to make my way to the top lane. 
the moment I get a little bit of health. But uh, it looks like even if he can actually go into the bottom. So we're going to be slightly behind for a little bit longer as I cannot afford to leave. We need to go for a really, really big defense here in the bottom lane, trying to make sure we kill those seeds. And my character is not moving for some random reason. There you go. There you go. You know how to move. All right, let's engage over here. Looks like uh, it's just Sylvanas for now. Not a big deal. Really good positioning of uh, that polymorph. For example, I to go on him really deeply. We're going to try to go here on the seeds. I use my full rotation just to make sure we take it down in time. I want to make my rotate to the middle lane to make sure we deal with those seeds as well. Look at the Nami team. Uh, following suit, Nova just checking out what's going on there. I remember trying to jump in here as fast as possible on the seed. It's going to give you the cannon bullets, which is actually a DPS and net victory. So try to always go for that if you can. We're going to go ahead and pop our trade, pop a little hope, and then basically try to grab people onto us, slowing them down. Uh, but uh, it's looking dire here as we did already lose two towers. The enemy team continuing to push here. I'm, I'm sure Diablo's got it. I'm going to try to go to the top lane and defend that. that, that, that at least we've been really kind of diligent about killing the flower, the seed guy, really quickly. Um, which is actually helping out a lot. Let's go ahead and not get Polymorph. Pulling these guys back a little bit and just annoying them generally. Trying to attack the dragon and do as much damage as you can. As you can see, I'm going to get Polymorph because that was a really good placement uh, of that Polymorph. We're going to go ahead and hit the healing well. And now we're sort of stuck between a rock and a hard place because it's just me and Vala. We're going to try to clear the flower as quickly as possible. We do pick up the kill on the dragon as she's going really deep on Brightwing. But not much we're going to be able to do there. We might be able to pick up the kill on Diablo, however, actually. But I do not land my uh, my slow. And now we're going to be able to back away because... Uh, Ball is taking a lot of damage. I'm going to try to clear the land out really quickly here. As you can see, two levels behind enemy teams. Man, today's been terrible. I did a warm-up game, and the exact same thing happened. Actually, we had a Rhaegar who builds for auto-attacks and refused to heal and never used his ancestral healing once in the entire fight. It was quite devastating. Let's go ahead and pop our W, pull these guys back, trying to make sure that Vala can get a couple licks in. Can she get a little volt there? Can she get enough damage? It does not look like she can. Yes, she does. And we managed to get the kill there, or at least on Diablo. That's a moral victory. Let's go ahead and clear the lane really quickly. At level 7, we're going to be picking up uh, the Crusade Marches. I actually tried Battle Momentum for a different thing, but this, uh, it's just so good. Our trade is so powerful that it makes it makes it, base, makes it so much better uh, to get Golden Reduction on that. Because Battle Momentum does not give you the reduction on the trade. It gives you the reduction on the other abilities, which are really neat and all. But you are going to run out of mana very often, and then you're not going to be as tanky. Uh, suppose if you don't have that much DPS, I would suggest trying out Battle Momentum, particularly if you go in a Condemn build, uh, which looks very different from what I'm doing. Uh, that's a really good idea, because at that point, normally, it's a good setup, but like what we have here with two tanks. Normally, we're there. What you're doing is actually going for more battlefield control. We're going to jump in here, trying to blind people. <laughs> take so much damage. And now we're going to be like, all right, never mind. Just kidding. Just kidding, you guys. You guys can have the Giants. It's cool. It's cool. Uh, and now we're just going to sit here and kill this guy after the fact. Uh, it looks like Diablo's going to help me out, right? You ready, Diablo? We're best buds. We're best buds. We kill this giant together. Let's go ahead and blind him so he doesn't kill our keep. As we do a little bit of damage. I'm the worst person at doing this. I should not be killing the giant. But we need to do it in order to ensure that we get something. It looks like Rhaegar doing the right thing. Going for seats down there in the bottom lane. I'm going to try to go for Golem immediately. Because we are going to be able to have enough seats there. Um, if we can... To get a little bit of guard terror action, which you desperately need because we're still one level behind the enemy team. About to lead level 10, we're still level 8, not even half level uh, to level 9. And uh, we're definitely behind. We're trying to get some seeds, trying to do as much damage as we can. Let's go ahead and hit out of that. So we don't get stunned and do as much damage here. So you can see Rhaegar and myself, not the best targets to be killing this thing by ourselves, as we don't have the, the most uh, siege capacity. But we're going to be doing 5 for now. We do have enough now for a, uh, a terror. It looks like the enemy team is going to have as well for one of theirs. And it looks like Diablo jumping in here. Let's go ahead and slow him down to grab some seeds and uh, and try to stone him out. Really good job of letting the dragon, um, the terror go this way. I don't know if it was on purpose when they found the team, but uh, she does allow us to stone him out a little bit better. And we grew grab the rest of the seeds. Let's go ahead and engage in here. Oh, this is a bad time as we do get stunned there. Let's go ahead and pop that. Get out of there. Let's see if we can get a pushback on ATC. We do manage to interrupt that to let our teammates run away. And now we got to back out. We're in a bad spot. Let's go ahead and get out of here. I'm going to try to go back to base and heal up a little bit before we come back here. Um, it looks like nobody jumping on the on the terror, so I go ahead, I'll go ahead and do it. I'll go ahead and do it. Let's do it. One of the two tanks is not a bad idea. I'm actually going to try to uh, tell my teammates to defend. I'm actually going to go top really quickly, put a seat there to try to defend this counter push. And then attack on their side if I can. Because this is looking really scary. And we might lose a fort as well. Let's go ahead and just drop a seed thing right there. Uh, we're going to go ahead and polymorph that. Looks like ETC trying to be the one who engages here. But we're going to go ahead and ignore him for now. 
Can we put a flame right there, maybe? I don't know. Let's go ahead and... We need to get something killing here. To get a kill going. Let's go ahead and put the seed on this side, actually. It's going to slow him down a little bit. And let's go ahead and put one more right there. And now we're going to be able to attack the gate without much of an issue there. But we're taking a lot of damage from ETC, actually. So we're going to try our best to sort of polymorph. And then now move to the middle lane to try to do a little bit of a counterattack. The enemy team should be able to defend that as they do not have one player. So basically it's a 4v4. And every each team is dealing with each other's guard and terror. And they should be fine. Let's go ahead and drop on white right there. And then just auto-attack the gate to make sure we have this open. The next time we're going to be picking up at level 10 is Falling Sword, Jump in the Air. And then when we land back, we do... Um, Ability damage, basically knocking enemies into the air. Really, really good interrupt. Uh, I like the Captain American Shield. It's a really good ability. But for the moment being, it's not the best. Um, particularly with this particular setup. Let's go ahead and get in here. Drop that ceiling. We just look at we get the tower. A little bit of range. Put that uh, right down on ETC. Try to break the gate if we can. So we can get out of here. Because it looks like Sylvanas already here. And now we're going to try to sprint out of the way. Putting Polymorph behind us. And maybe even dropping this one more time. Actually, I might die there for this, but I think it's worth it. Let's go ahead and pop the polymorph. Now we gotta press D and then try to get out. <laughs> try to get out. Let's go ahead and jump back. Actually, it's a really good opportunity to use our heroic ability. I'm gonna try to jump on all these guys. We do interrupt most of them, uh, and I, I'm unable to press on my W. I do get caught in that mosh pit, and we're gonna die before we can do anything else. Looks Diablo also a little bit out of, uh, out of position. However, we don't have Rhaegar, so we're definitely losing that exchange. It looks like Vala and Nova backing out wisely. Rhaegar finally being like, oh my god, what am I doing? Way down here in the bottom lane by myself. Level 11 to level 13. Again, not looking great. Excuse me. Oh, my throat's actually not looking as good as I thought it was. So I started speaking a lot. It looks like we're going to lose this middle fort. Looking at stats really quickly. Uh, our friendly Vala with 20,000 hero damage. Leading the pack. We're doing a lot of damage. You see, not enough as we do have 9 kills to 4. Uh, healing was Rhaegar with a measly 6,000. I don't even know what that is. Bright with 24,000. Oh my goodness. That's incredible. The difference is that acute. Uh, we're going to try to get some seeds. I hope. Uh, we're in a good position here to try to grab the top seeds. We're actually going to make our way. No, don't grab those Don't grab those mercenaries. Do not grab those mercenaries. What are you doing? Seeds are coming. Uh, well, 13 seconds. They can do it. I believe in them. We're going to try to grab these seedlings up here in the top lane. Remember, the little caps are very important as they do give you the most bang for your buck. You spend very little time on them. And they give you quite a few seeds. So you're, if you're able to grab all four of them and then sort of contest one of the golems for any sort of decent amount of time, you're going to have a Garden Terror. So always go for those middle, those little caps first. It's counterintuitive. People think, oh, yeah, the golem is bigger, so if you just get that, you'll be fine. But uh, it's actually not because the enemy team can start on the golem. You can kill all four of the little camps and then head to there and contest that golem they're fighting and get more seeds. So it actually behooves you to uh, sort of do that. Let's go ahead and engage on this guy immediately. I pop my tray to make sure I'm taking a little bit of, uh, of shield damage there. And now back out. We're going to pop up Lulz of Hope just to make sure we top ourselves up while we're waiting here. Uh, we're going to be able to, I believe, get enough seeds with this golem to, to get our entire. However, the enemy team does as well. As you can see there from the mini-map and from our previous experience, they've done a really good job of defending. So that means we're going to be in a bad spot. We do interrupt the enemy ETC. Let's go ahead and do a shield there there and jump up here. Oh, we're in a bad spot. We're in a bad spot. We're such a bad spot. We got silenced and then pushed and then stunned by the boss and then moved back. And at least ETC pops his, his mosh pit there, but it's a little too late. Uh, that was a quite a uh, wombo by accident from the enemy team. They, I don't think they meant to do that. We do lose the keep on the bottom lane. We have a really big mercenary push pushing on our core. We lose the fort in the middle. And now the enemy team doesn't even need this Dragon Knight. It's, uh, sorry, this is Garn Terror. It's not a Dragon Knight. How dare you. And at least we kill a fort in the top lane. So I feel like we feel good. It looks like somebody jumps on the terror. They're going to start him rattling at there. Uh, we should try to basically focus on cleaning this up really quickly before we do anything else. Because uh, we don't want this push to be killing us all over the place. All right. The, the enemy Garn Terror going through the middle lane. We're going to try to defend that. That's going to be our thing. Let's go in here and blind these guys so they at least save a couple of our minions so they can uh, pretend to push. The next time we're going to be picking up at level 13 is going to be hold your ground, increases Iron Skin's shield, and then reduces cooldown when broken. That's awesome that we made him waste that, <laughs> that thing right there. Let's go ahead and pull this guy back. Oh, we do not get him. That was debatable. Uh, debatably a terrible decision. We're going to try to mount up and deal with this terror. It looks like our friendly team is sort of uh, getting pushed back. Doing a really good job of sort of dealing with this guy. Let's go ahead and slow him down. I'll deal with the seed. As uh, I led my enemy and my friendly teammates to do a lot more damage, sort of follow that guy. But this is already doing a lot of damage because my DPS, DPS burst is not that big. Let's go ahead and head back here. It looks like Diablo in a bad spot. Oh, man, I keep doing that again. Uh, I'm actually going to head this way and try to kill this guy. So I am going to jump from the heavens, 
slow him down. Here comes Punish. And now Vile's going to be able to free cast. We do kill him. However, he had 100 souls, so... You know, he's going to come back in three seconds. Not a great pickup for us. Let's head to the bottom lane. It looks like the Terror doing a good job of sort of splitting the enemy team. And now he's going to head over instead of up. And now he might be in a lot of trouble. He might die. I'm going to try to make my way over here and help him out. It looks like Diablo's going to be in a little bit of trouble. We're going to shield glare on most of the enemy team right there. Uh, and now he's going to have lightning breath. And now <laughs> we're in a lot of trouble. Oh, Vala, why'd you do that, girl? I'm going to try to go in here and sort of body block for her. Uh, hello, everybody. Come follow me. Come this way. We're going to shoot Glare out and trying to get these guys out of position. It looks like Nova almost got caught there. But ATC does waste, waste his mosh pit. And we're all able to get out of there with our faces intact. As that we're now going to just run away. It looks like Nova does do her precision strike. This guy's shooting me out of my mouth like a jerk. And that's a bad time. Shield Glare going up behind me. This is all the enemy teams down. As we were just making our way out of here. Let's go ahead and D ourselves. Lots of hope coming out. Now they're in a bad spot. Because he's going to go ahead and bunch them all together. And back away. We do not have any heals. So it behooves us to not engage that yet. We are a level 16, so we should grab a talent. Uh, fanatism. Iron Shield causes damage. Oh, that's not what I wanted at all. all right, but we got movement speed from, uh, from Iron Shield, Iron Skin. Again, it's not really what, it, what we wanted. But I just sort of picked it because I was like, oh, I need to build my trade. That's what I'm doing. Building my trade. Let's go ahead and pop D as soon as we can. Let's the elbow going deep, really deep on us. Let's go ahead and jump on here. Can we get on top of ETC? Oh, we do lift him. We do a little bit of damage, and we pick up the kill there. A lot of damage going down for that Lightning Breath. And we can actually move Diablo back this way. No, we cannot because he's unmovable. Um, and we do die there trying to do a little bit silly. However, our friendly Diablo gets manhandled a little bit. Does put the enemy... Oh, Diablo within uh, range, but does push him back. And now Vala coming in doing a lot of damage to the Hungry Arrow. Diablo does get healed a little bit by right when that Blink heal doing a lot of healing. Looks like Rhaegar not having any school done for the totem. Unable to slow them down or not knowing that he has a totem. Because I don't believe that he wasn't cool down. <laughs> oh, man. Rhaegar, uh, Rhaegar is definitely free this week. I've seen some disasters regular play this this morning. I'm trying to record this. Look at Diablo's gonna push the enemy Diablo back. A lot of damage going down. Can Vala pick up the kill? She's doing a lot of damage. I need a vault from you, girl. Come on. This vault and hungry and arrow. That's all she needs. She has very little mana. It looks like this is a trap. Savannah's gonna really get engaged. This is a bad idea, Diablo. You're going too far, man. You're going too far. It's not worth it. Now you're gonna die because he's gonna heal and you're not. There you are. Over here. Alright. Looking at stats really quickly. Rhaegar with a measly 12,000 healing. I almost want to post this video just to shame this friendly Rhaegar. I know it's terrible because he's probably a new player. But man, you picked a healer. You gotta heal a couple times, man. <laughs> you wanna do some auto attack damage? I recommend Illidan. You wanna play an Orc Thrall? It's fantastic. Uh, if you wanna do some auto attack damage. Um, you also have some cool neat abilities. You can try that. It looks like we're sort of uh, outmatched here between ETC and, uh, and Brightwind. So we're gonna try to slow him down. No, are you gonna help me, girl? No, you're not. He's gonna walk away. So we're gonna walk away too. Look, the anything going really deep on us to go and pop our loads of hope as well as our trade to get out of there. And now we're going to be able to hit to the bottom lane and fight for some seats in that golem. As we did not have any backup there. Rhaegar backing out now uh, somehow. All right, let's go ahead and do a little bit of damage. Stats wise, uh, hero damage, the friendly Vala 35,000 hero damage. Doing really well, girl. Really, really strong show about friendly Vala. However, it does not seem to be enough because we do not have that much more. Our friendly Noah 26,000, not doing too bad herself. Uh, the enemy team, uh, Diablo with 29,000, a lot of damage, and Nurse Sylvanas at 26 as well. Doing a really, really good job. Let's go ahead and try to grab those things. Um, I don't know why it won't let me walk this way. There you are. You are trying to grab these things before ATC runs in here like you've been doing with that Rockstar power slide. And stealing all, those, all our stuff. All right, that looks to be it. We do not have a terror, however, the enemy team does. And Rhaegar dies yet again by himself up there. I don't know what he was doing. Damage-wise, Rhaegar, you're doing fourth. All right, this guy is definitely trolling, right? Clearly, clearly trolling, or or uh, perhaps he does not know how to use the keyword. Let's go ahead and pull Sylvanas back. We're going to slow her down as well, doing as much damage as we can. Oh, we're taking so much damage. I'm pumping all our things all over the way, all over the place. And then uh, backing out of there as we do not want to deal with that Diablo nonsense. It looks like our friendly Diablo getting overextended there on the top lane gets taken down a peg. And now we're going to basically back out, hit up the healing well, see if Nova can get a kill on something. Uh, it doesn't look like a good time. Let's go ahead and engage here on Sylvanas. We're going to try to pop all these guys together and slow them down. And then here comes the stun. I'm going to try to fight for this thing. I am going to be able to steal the mercs. Maybe, perhaps, we do steal the mercs at the very least. That is a moral victory. Now let's jump on Brightwing. Good target pick there by Diablo. We're able to pick up the kill on the healer. And now we're going to chase really deeply. It looks like this ETC in a little bit of trouble. We're going to try to come in here. Oh, here comes the shield glare. We do not catch uh, false stun in time. And he does back out. It looks like the enemy team does finally get the terror. They're going to push you in the middle lane. We're going to try to deal with him. I try to deal with him because he is 
pushing barreling down here. Let's go ahead and shoot Glaron. The longer we can keep him this way, the best we are because they're not going to be able to actually do that on our base. Good job on the front of the Diablo slowing him down. Let's go ahead and push these guys back. Good kill there on the enemy um, ATC. Now we're backing up. We're taking a lot of damage. Here comes Shield Glare. And we're going to prop our trade as well. And now this thing is chasing us, but we're able to back away. We do pick up a little kill there on Falstead as the Terra left. And good Lightning Breath from the Diablo doing a lot of damage. And Savannah's almost picks up the kill. We're going to actually slow this guy down. Save Diablo's life because we do do that Shield Glare. And he's unable to land those two hits. Diablo coming back. Can I catch up with the thing? Oh, it looks like Diablo does die there. Uh, and I'm going to try to pull him back and then punish just to slow him down a little bit. Shield Girl going out. We do pick up a kill on the Dragon Knight. Not actually letting him do any damage to our structures. It was a big deal. Let's go ahead and engage here on Brightwing. Oh, he does do a blink heal, though. That was really good. And now we're going to be forced backing out. I don't think this is going to engage him for any of us. Maybe we can get up with these mercs, guys. Maybe. I don't know if they will help me. Um, because we definitely need one of the lanes pushed up the, lane for the top lane and at least we have a little bit of, uh, of map presence Look at Vala coming up here If we're quick about this, this is a good idea If we're not, this is a terrible idea Looks like Rhaegar Oh, it's a bot Oh, bot Rhaegar I should have checked that I, I, I knew, I knew you couldn't be this bad You <laughs> couldn't be a real person, you couldn't be Alright, so it's, it's a bot We got bot Rhaegar We're gonna go ahead and ping him He's gonna follow us for now, and I I didn't even notice. That's my bad. Now I'm the bad one who's bad not noticing Rhaegar being bad. We're gonna head to the bottom lane, try to grab some mercs, uh, and try to do something because uh, if we don't, this bottom lane is gonna get pushed thoroughly. It looks like Bot Rhaegar is actually gonna follow us down here. The next time we're gonna be picking up a level 20 indestructible gain of shield instead of dying. Uh, last game we're trying to to do it. It's fantastic. It really is awesome. Go ahead and just blind ETC there. That's like, oh man, this is not a good time. Let's go ahead and engage there. That mosh be gets wasted. We do avoid that nonsense. We do press our D. Let's go ahead and jump up. To jump on both these guys. We're going to slow them down. Shield group going out and then punish. Basically, our lightning breath from our friendly Diablo doing an absurd amount of damage. Now we're going to jump up there on Diablo. Let's go ahead and pull him back. Oh, good blink uh, by the enemy Diablo. He's going to try to get away. We're going to chase, trying to pick up the kill there. Vala doing a lot of damage. I'm going to go all the way down, and we're going to punish to slow him down. Vala does pick up the kill. Although, again, he had 100 skulls. Not a great pickup for us as he's going to come right back. Let's go ahead and auto-attack these things. It looks like Rhaegar uh, and Diablo getting engaged over there. I'm going to try to get some seeds, man. I'm going to definitely try to get some seeds. It's something we desperately need. The friendly team doing a good job chasing there. But we need to pick up enough seeds to get a terror immediately. Otherwise, we're going to be in a lot of trouble. I'm going to actually just start engaging the golem. I don't have enough damage here. To do this, our core's under attack. We need somebody to go back and defend that. Um, Rhaegar's gonna come down here with me and not do much. He's just gonna hang out. Oh, look at that lightning shield on himself, Rhaegar, you unselfish guy. And we're gonna try to do as much damage as we can here. All we need is five more seats, so this is definitely attainable. It looks like the friendly Nova and Vala going back for that uh, to defend. We're gonna be able to grab the seats here momentarily, and we finally do pick up enough seats to get our Garn Terror. And with that, I suppose I'm gonna help the owl finish killing this. It's really not the best use of my time, as we could be pushing with that Dragon Terror already. But we don't really have any other options. Uh, so I'm actually going to go ahead and let them know that I'm heading back here. Oh, uh, back out. I'm just going to let them know I'm heading back there. Uh, let's go ahead and ping on Rhaegar. I don't want him to follow me. I want him to follow someone else. Hopefully Diablo grabs him there. Let's go ahead and just jump on the Garn Terror right now. Trying to do something to push this game back in our favor. We're going to go ahead and sprint down the middle lane. Forcing the enemy team to come fight us instead of dealing with the Terrors. He looks like they do grab of the middle camp. And now we're just going to barrel right through this thing. Come on, fellas. Now we're going to re-ping on Rhaegar. Because, you know, bot Rhaegar can't be doing whatever he wants. Let's go ahead and hit this way. We're not going to waste the seed on this. We're going to hit auto-attack that one time. Kill the Ford. And now we're going to jump in here and put some seeds on the keep, which we desperately need to kill. We desperately need some aggressiveness here. We need to be really offensive make sure we get a couple keep kills at the very least before the enemy team can react. Because that's going to put us back in the game. And they do have a Garden Terror where they're going to be able to do a lot of damage. I'm going to go ahead and let them know that I'm going to that bottom one. Uh, we could go for a core kill. Not the best idea. Let's go ahead and see if we can put a, a little bit of a Polymorph there. Uh, good jump there from ATC doing a lot of damage. I'm going to try to basically zone these people out. We're going to be able to put another Polymorph there. Can you pick up the kill there on Sylvanas? Oh, we cannot. Yes, we can. Now we're just going to auto-attack here. I'm going to go ahead and drop another seed right there behind me as I continue to attack there and basically put a Polymorph right here and try to make sure the enemy team cannot grab that dragon, that um, that terror. That would be a big pickup for us if we just let it wilt. Maybe we're doing a lot of damage there on Falsa. We do pick up the kill there. We're trying to stone these guys out. Continue to put seeds behind us. Continue to put Polymorph right on us. 
basically using this uh, this thing offensively to try to do a little bit of damage. And we we're going to be able to bring up the gullet on Brightwing. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We're just zoning him out. We're just zoning him out. Three seconds that we get more seeds. Doing a lot of damage. Can we get pick up the killer on Diablo? It doesn't look like we can. We finally do kill it. And now we're going to basically run through here and put another seed right there. As so I do believe they wilted, which is exactly what we wanted. Now we're able to just back away. Put a point more behind us. And just casually sprint. We do have 10 seconds. We might be able to pop another seat down. Four, three, oh, two, one. Come on, come on, seedling. There we go. And now we're going to just hit this for a couple licks there as we do pull him off right wing. That was a really good play, man. I feel like that was an MVP terror. That might put us back in the game. I, mean, I might be able to get the kill on the keep. Just lost the hope for days. And now I'm just going to go ahead and just back out using my ultimate. Like, what's up, guys? I'll see you later. Uh, let's go ahead and buy Brightwing. I don't want him to turn me into, into a little uh, thing. We're going to be able to get stuck here a little bit, but we're going to pull up our trade. And here comes Bot Rager for the win. Bot Rager is going to sacrifice himself so that we can live. And uh, actually, we're going to try to turn around and save his life if we can. <laughs> we're engaging here really deeply. He goes to slow. Basically, turn this around. Now we should just back out as, uh, as we did what we need to do. I'm going to try to stay behind and save Vala. We do lose the top four, but we did kill three other keeps. And they lost the Garden Terror. Really big play. We're finally ahead two levels. I'm going to try to head back here as Noah looks as he wants to stab somebody in the face. And I like when she gets that look on her face. So we're going to try to help her out and try to do just that. Look, the enemy team barreling down here. Let's go ahead and shield glare them out. Wasting their time slightly as we do retreat a little bit. Diablo trying to poke a little bit. But uh, we definitely need an engagement. I'm going to ping for assistance. That's not about Diablo. Listen, no, okay, that's a guy. We definitely need to engage right here. This is the moment. This is our moment, guys. Let's go really deep right here. Gonna pop a loss of hope. I suppose our shield. Going to the slow. Jumping on Sylvanas as soon as I'm going to as I can. Switching to Brightwing now that they actually all backed out. And now maybe even Diablo because he's going to be able to back away. Can we pull them back? Oh, we're going to pull back Sylvanas just in time. So she takes a lot of damage from that. We're going to punish her. Slow her down. We do pick up a kill. Jump on Diablo. Here comes the glare. He has a no choice but to run way back. And we're going to chase him right for the kill here. I think this might be a good opportunity to just push the core. I think I can tank it. I think I have bought Rager healing me. I think bought Rager in him, I believe. Uh, although not that much, actually. I'm taking quite a little bit of damage. Oh my god, the ancestral healing boom brought Rager. Now we're going to deep on the core, doing as much damage as we can. Popping that D. Punish going out. Even full air. I don't even care about the Alva. I want to put him back. He's th we're taking a lot of damage with that really good placement of both ultimates going to take the kill on the enemy Diablo who does not have a hundred skulls for once so he's fully dead and now we're going to kill the core oh my goodness can you believe in this difference comeback that was amazing looking at stats really quickly 189,000 siege damage MVP Garden Terror 20 kills to 20 my name is Sal I hope you enjoyed that epic comeback and I will see you all next time